Hi everybody. Welcome to Two OGs Hook and Stitch and Island Style. I'm Antoinette. I will be your host for today. Today is October 1st. Where did summer go? In today's video, we are going to draw the winners of the one year pot anniversary and 500 subby giveaway. I also am going to do a random number generator for the scraps that I had talked about in a previous video. One of the uh, my subscribers has suggested if there's more than one or two people to do a draw. So that's what I did, or that's what I'm going to do. Um, I wrote the names down and put a number beside their names. There was five of them that uh, wanted the scraps. And I thought that would be a fair way to do it. Um, and I do have one that is... Uh, in Australia. So shipping could be an issue there, <laughs> but we'll see. Um, I want to thank all the returning subscribers, all the new subscribers, and if you're just finding the channel for the first time, I hope you enjoy the content. Um, we talk about knitting, crocheting, yarn hauls, life on the island, um, various kinds of content. We do giveaways now and then, and uh, Whatever else happens to pop up. I'm going to show uh, the elf coat. I have a significant progress on it. So this video, if it gets to be too long, I will split it into a couple of videos. Um, I do have a lot to catch up on. Um, I wanted to do the draw last night, but yesterday I had to take my Bella. And that's my puppy. It was an 11-year-old puppy, but she's still my puppy. Um, to the vet, she hadn't been feeling good. And the news wasn't good. Um, she is in heart failure. And there were some other issues going on. And they put her on some medication. So we're going to try that for a few days and see how that happens. If it clears up the issues other than the heart failure, then she'll be on heart medicine for the rest of her life. But if we can't get the other issues straightened up, if, in other words, if they're not coming from the heart failure and it's another problem, then... Uh, I have some decisions to make. Um, and all of us know that it's never an easy decision. Uh, if you remember last year, I had my pit bull, Valeria, um, ended up having a brain tumor. And for the first time in my life, I had to make that decision. I miss her every day. And her sister has missed her since she's been gone. But we'll see. Right now, Belle is resting comfortably. Um, she finally managed to eat something this morning. And I took her out for a little walk there. She does get winded. Of course, as we all get older, we do. So, enough about the, you know, the sad stuff. But do keep her in your prayers. I would appreciate it. Um, she's, she's my girl. And uh, I want some more time with her. But quality time. So, let's get on. I'm going to refresh your memory before I draw for the Potiversary and the 500 Subby giveaway. I'm um, going to just refresh your memory quickly. Um, I'm not going to go through it individually. I'm just going to kind of show you what's in the box. Now, the first draw is going to be for the one-year pot anniversary, which is the uh, Fundy, Bay of Fundy uh, Shaw. And that's the whole kit. Uh, the yarn you need, the needles, and all of that. That winner will have the choice between the Quaddy Blue and the Fundy Fob. They will also have to let me know if they want the straight needles or the circular needles. And whichever one the first winner does not choose will go into the other box, which will be crochet. There'll be a there's a crochet hook in it. Um we'll get that. And again some other goodies too. So let me show you. We'll I'll start with the Bay of Fundy Fog. Or the Bay of Fundy Shaw. This is all the goodies. It's not packed up yet. Everything's just kind of thrown in there. And uh, there's just, there's all kind of stuff in here. So, and little notions pouch with stuff in it. This is for the first one. This is for the Fundy Bay Shawl. And then the next draw, the next drawing would be for the crochet package. So there is a notions pouch with stuff in it, and 
and there's other stuff in, in, in that box also. So those are going to be for the two um, winners of that draw. So I am going to get my phone and I'm going to bring up the, the YouTube random comment picker. So just hold on one second here. Okay, as you can see, I have got the random YouTube comment picker, and I have got the URL in it, and I'm going to get the YouTube comments, and we'll see how many we have. What's nice about my channel is I'm a small channel, so if you enter any of our giveaways, you have a good chance, because we don't get a lot of comments. The only one I ever got big comments on was the Christmas in July fairies, so you know, you have a good chance of winning. I mean, I just, I just do small giveaways, but I enjoy sharing and giving back to those that support the channel and watch my comments. So we have 38 unique commenters. I did filter out duplicate comments. So we're going to hit start. And this is going to be the first winner. Susan Goulet. Okay, Susan, I was drawing for the knitting, but Susan prefers the crochet. So, it says, hi, congrats on your 500 subscribers. That quaddy regal blue is very pretty. I prefer crochet. Thanks for the awesome giveaway, and I so enjoyed your reading of Tales from the Small Islands. So, Susan, thank you very much. Um, I Get a hold of me and send me your shipping address. The email, all the content, my contact information is in the description box below here. And I will give you uh, a week to give, get in touch with me. Um, I do always comment on your comments so you do know that you won. Um, if after seven days you haven't contacted me, unfortunately I will have to draw another winner. Now she wanted the Quaddy Blue. So it seems the knitting one is going to get the Fundy Fog. Since she was the first pick, she won a Quaddy Blue. Although it's crochet, I'll send her the crochet one. And the next winner will get the Fundy Fog and the Fundy Bay Shaw kit and other goodies. So I'm just going to, hold on a second, write her name down. Okay, we're going to draw for the second winner. Ready? Pick another winner. Barbara Leanhard. Barbara, I have all your information. Barbara has won a previous giveaway. Let's see. The Fundy Fog yarn is beautiful. I don't knit, but love to crochet. I love your scarecrow costume. Okay. We have a dilemma. Both my people are crocheters. So, I am going to go back and we're going to have three winners. Okay, I'm going to go and I'm going to filter the next pick so it has knit in it. So, hold on one moment. Okay. What I did... Did I turn... Is this, is this on? Okay. <clears throat> I had to go and do a little calculation and get some another uh, color in the Briggs and Little Heritage yarn. So I'm going to draw this one here is specifically the knit which will be the Bay of Fundy Shaw and it will be in the Fundy Fog. Um, the I'm going to ask Barbara and if she would like the Fundy Fog. I have another color here, but I bought, I have four skeins of yarn, hanks of yarn of the Fundy Bay, uh, Fundy Fog color, and that is for the shawl, and that's what you need. You need four skeins for the Fundy shawl. So the other ones are getting two skeins of, two hanks of the Quaddy Blue, or I also have this color, 
that is called grape. And if, I don't know if, well, you can see it, it's uh, got, t it's a tonal yarn with uh, purples and like a dark teal and reds. And like the other ones, it is 100% wool. And there is, um, it's a two ply, and there are 215 yards per hank. So you get 450 yards of Briggs and Little Classic Heritage Wool. Please let me know if you're allergic to wool because this is 100% wool. And then we'll have to figure out something else. So, Barbara, I need you to let me know, and I will put it in your message, grape or quaddy blue. All right, let's draw for the third and final winner on this. And this one is for the funded kit. And the winner is Rebecca Acton. And it says, congrats on reaching your milestone. I like either color equally. I thought you were saying fundy, fun day fog. LOL, fundy fog. What a generous giveaway. I started off crocheting but recently learned to knit. Okay. Rebecca, you are the winner of the Fundy Bay Shaw in Fundy Fog. You're going to need to let me know, do you want the straight needles or do you want the circular needles? So those are our three winners. Of the kits. So I'm going to have to kind of redo these kits a little bit. And I will get all of the messages out to everybody that won. Again, you have seven days to let me know your shipping address. Um, I will comment under your comment because I will need your shipping information. And on the, in the case of Barbara, I need to know grape or quaddy blue. And Rebecca, you'll get the kit there'll still be some goodies in it too. So everybody's going to get some goodies and some yarn and a hook or a needle. So, but thank you everybody for entering. I hope you enjoy it. There will also, there again, each kit will have something that says Canada, Deer Island, um, just some little goodies. So, uh, they probably won't ship out till the beginning of next week. Um, because I haven't been leaving the house right now because I'm staying close to Bella but I will get them out and um, send tracking information. So my next draw that I have to do is for the random number generator. Now there were five people that, for the scraps, I, it's in two boxes right now for the scraps. Um, they may have to be shipped in two boxes because it's cheaper to keep it. We have figured out that two kilograms is the magic number. Under two, if you go 2.001 kilograms, it jumps almost double. So it may come in two boxes. But the only other, well, I was going to suggest should I pull for two? But I am, yes, I'm going to pull two names. And I'll split the scraps up into two packages. They will be um, sent out. So there'll be two people that get the scraps. Now I've got to go on my phone and I've got to get the random number generator. I have to just go here and get it here. Um, I was looking on this morning for it and there's just some, there's just some quick... There we go, random number generator. This is random.org. Okay, so. Um, let's see. No, nope, we can't use that one. I apologize for this. I wanted to have everything. There we go. Numbergenerator.org. I'll pull it up here. Now there were five people, so it'll be between one and five. Okay. 
Let's see. Okay. Five? Okay. We're going to pick a random number here between one and five. I picked five. Darlene Lively, you are going to get one of the boxes of scraps. Okay, now we're going to pick another one. You hit the roll here. Number two. Kirsty Turley, you are number two. So Kirsty and Darlene, you will be getting the scraps. I will message you. Darlene, I have your shipping information. Kirsty, I will or Christy. I'm sorry. Can't read my own handwriting. I will me me call, message you and you need to send me your shipping information and then I will get your Scraps, scrap box out to you. Thank you everybody for participating in the giveaway and those that were interested in the scraps, I just don't have time to use my scraps up and I'd rather see them go to somebody that's going to use them. Um, around here nobody's taking donations so that's why I decided just to ship you know the scraps to somebody that could use them. Whether you do charity work or you do amigurumi, um, I don't do amigurumi. I appreciate amigurumi but it's just something I don't do. Um, you guys know that I'm pretty much into garments and stuff like that. So that's finished. I am going to end the video here. And I will be doing another video for whips and finished objects and some other chitter chatter. But I just wanted to get this up and get it out so everybody knows that they won. So remember everybody, hug smiles and happiness. Pass it on. Make the world a better place. Have a wonderful day. Bye from Deer Island.